Now, travellers heading to Birmingham Airport have the option to take a ride on a driverless bus. An automated shuttle has begun a six-week trial operating on roads to and from airport car parks. Made by a firm in Coventry, it's owned by Solihull Council, who says it's an exciting opportunity to test te technology which will one day be part of our everyday life. Giles Latcham gave it a try. No noise, no emissions and, yep, no driver. On its first day on duty at the airport, passengers on board the auto shuttle included the leader of Solihull Council. This is just another piece of the jigsaw. As well as the organisation that gave the council a quarter of a million pounds to buy its own driverless bus. It's uh, new technology, emerging technology, but this vehicle behind us is made locally. And it's a fantastic example of advanced engineering, auto automotive excellence in our very city region. And, and this pilot is such an opportunity to catapult that technology into wider commercial use. It's made by Coventry-based Aurigo, who work with the University of Warwick to develop autonomous pods. They've been put to use transporting baggage at airports, guided by GPS and a system of sensors. This is different though, they're shifting passengers and the passengers need to feel safe. So there's multiple layers of uh, different safety features. We don't just use one sensor, it's a multitude of different sensors uh, detecting different things or things in different ways and it builds up a whole safety system. There are 12 cameras dotted around the vehicle as well as a number of LiDAR sensors. They use laser light to measure distances. The vehicle is limited to 20 miles per hour. Behind the wheel is a safety operator ready to step in if required. The auto shuttle was first tested on public roads in Cambridge. The airport trial is a longer, more complicated route with more traffic. What you have here is a public location, uh, although it's sort of semi-controlled really. We've trialled it in the NEC as well. You know, these trials have been really successful so far, but we're going to keep working on it because we understand people will have, you know, issues and concerns and we want to get over those. Are we there yet? Not with humans still in the cab, but if driverless is the future, it's getting closer. Giles Latch and BBC Midlands today, Birmingham Airport.